Hey, what's up? This is your boy, Kerry D. Singleton, Intrigue Magazine. I'm here at Circle of Sisters at the Jacob Javits Center in New York City. And look who I have standing next to me. None other than the legendary icon himself, Mr. Matthew Knowles. What's up, brother? Good afternoon, Kerry. How you doing, brother? It's good, good to see you. see you, brother. But you didn't bring me no barbecue from Texas. Well, you didn't ask me to. But I, I think, right yeah. Now, yeah. I have them fried up right now. I, I, I know you're good for it, right? I know you're good for some barbecue, right? Okay. What's your favorite type of barbecue? Oh, man, I just like good barbecue, man. I just like <laughs> Are you a brisket man or a chicken man? Oh, I like the, the baby back ribs. Oh. This pump. Okay. But not only are you an iconic industry individual, a professional, but you're also, like myself now, an author. Uh, we have your book, the number one bestseller here, The DNA of Achievers, 10 Traits of Highly Successful Professionals. Now, who would you happen to know about being a highly successful professional for those that have been living under a rock for the past 20 years and don't know? Well, you know, I've been very, very fortunate, man. In corporate America, Wow. Uh, I've done some real corporate in industry, interesting, different kind of stuff. One of the first blacks to sell CT and MRI in America. Oh, wow. A black to be a neurosurgical specialist in America. Wow. So I have a very uh, different background. And then from an academia standpoint, mm -hmm. I teach at Texas Southern University. Oh, I didn't know that, brother. Good. Last, my ninth year. The last three years, I've got my MBA as well as my PhD. Wow. And then I put together this little girl group called Destiny Child. Uh, 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 Destiny, uh, this sounds familiar. I think they were... Um, Number one female group. Uh, well, exactly, I think so, yeah. I think and something, yeah. <laughs> two incredible, incredible daughters, uh, both with number one albums. Uh -huh. They've been done before in the history of music. Wow. Like two sisters, Beyonce and Solange. Beyonce. I think I've heard of her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And right now, as we speak, Solange has the number one album in the country. Congratulations to her, yes. Absolutely. And you have a group out as well. Yeah, I have a, a, a group. Plus music. Again, yes. Never done before. Mm -hmm. you know, in my book, I talk about being a visionary. Okay. Two rappers and a vocalist. This has never been done before. Wow. So it gives it a good, different sound. Right. And I got—I had the opportunity to meet them yesterday. Lovely young ladies. Lovely young ladies indeed. Well, great. You know, I had them in artist development because it requires that type of uh, discipline, that type of work to be successful. If you find someone successful, let me tell you some things that have happened. Okay. They fail, they fail, they fail, they work, they work their work. Yes. And they're passive. Exactly. And you see, failure is opportunity to grow, not a reason to quit. Mm, say it again, brother. Failure is an opportunity to grow, not a reason to quit. Wow. And I talk about this in the DNA of achievers. And I give some seminars all over the country mm -hmm. on, on the book, on entrepreneurship, and I just enjoy meeting people and giving back my knowledge. So I have to ask you, with all the things that you're doing, we know that you're busy, we know that you're a person that's definitely um, all over the place in different aspects. How did you make time to write a book, brother? Well, you know, I took me three years. But right. I learned from okay. that. You know, my next book that I'm going to write in today, I'm possessing my time uh, and not doing a stop start. I tell any author, uh, once you focus, you've got to continue. Don't stop and start. Yes, great advice. Yeah. So, what advice would you give to those uh, aside from buying your book, first and foremost? Buy this book. Buy this book. What advice would you give to anybody that, that, that wants to succeed? people to dig deep and find their passion. Okay. Each and every one of us has something that excites us. Most people are shy and frightened and they care about what others are going to think and so they don't tell anybody their true passion. Ooh. They go with life a sad state of doing something that they really are passionate about. Because brother, when you live your passion, you never work a day in your life. Wow. I'm sorry, brother. I know I'm interviewing you, but those words went straight from your mouth to my heart. Right there. That was deep, and I, and I appreciate that. One more question before I let you go. So, with all of the things that you're doing, I have to say that being here at Circle of Sisters is, is, is an amazing 
it's, it's an amazing opportunity for everyday people to pick up your book and have an opportunity to meet with you. What made you decide that you wanted to be a part of this year's Circle of Sisters? Well, this is my second year. Okay. I had the opportunity to be here last year to experience. Okay. Uh, you can feel the energy. You can feel the togetherness of black women. The unity. And we have to celebrate our black women. Thank you. Uh, Absolutely. I wanted to be a part of that. I wanted to be a part of that celebration. Well, it's definitely an honor to have you here, man. Thank you so much for interviewing with Intrigue Magazine. Thank you so much for your words of wisdom and encouragement to everybody that's watching this and everybody that will read Mr. Knowles' book. Again, thank you so much. I salute you in everything that you do. I'm proud to have the opportunity to stand next to you, and I hope to one day be able to absorb and manifest all of the wisdom that you're giving me right now. So I thank you so much, brother. Any last words you want to give to the people? I just want to thank everyone. You give us plenty to be thankful for, brother. Thank you for being on Intrigue Magazine, and uh, make sure you all get that book. All right, everybody, this is Matthew Knowles, Kerry D. Singleton, the DNA of Achievers. Pick it up right here at uh, Circular Sisters, New York City.